21 English words and expressions for the bar. This is a guest lesson by Ryan from EnglishForMyDream.com. I'll tell you more about him at the end of the lesson. Many meetings with friends and business colleagues happen at the bar. It's a good place to be social and have fun. In the United States, the legal drinking age is 21. If you are younger than 21 years old, it is illegal to drink alcohol. So, going along with that theme, here are 21 vocabulary words and phrases related to drinking alcohol at a bar or pub. Happy Hour Happy hour is a time of the day at the bar when drinks and food are discounted. Generally, happy hours happen around the end of the workday, like from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. For example, I am joining a few co-workers for happy hour today. Top shelf liquor means the highest quality and most expensive liquor and alcohol that is usually kept on the highest shelf behind the bar. For example, my rich friend only drinks top shelf liquor. Booze Booze is a slang word for alcohol. For example, there was plenty of booze at the college graduation party. Draft beer this refers to beer served from a keg rather than from a bottle or can. For example, I love cold draft beer more than bottles or cans. On tap. This expression refers to the beer that is available as draft beer at the bar. For example, you might ask the bartender, what kind of beer do you have on tap? Mixed drinks. Mixed drinks are made with liquor and another beverage, like soda or juice. For example, rum and coke is my favorite mixed drink. A round of drinks. A round of drinks is a group of drinks, one for each person present in the group of friends. For example, hey guys, I'll buy the next round. This means I will buy the next drink for everybody in the group. Barkeep is another word for bartender. For example, hey barkeep, how are you today? Bouncer. The bouncer is the security guard at the bar who makes sure everyone is safe, prevents fights, and often checks identification to make sure you are legally allowed in the bar. For example, the bouncer is a nice guy, but he looks intimidating. ID. This is short for identification. For example, the bouncer asked for our IDs before we entered the bar. On the rocks. A drink on the rocks is a drink on ice. For example, can I please have a whiskey on the rocks? We only use on the rocks for alcoholic drinks, not for soda or water. Chug means to drink very fast. For example, it can be dangerous to chug your beer. Drink carefully. A fifth. This is a slang term for a 750 milliliter bottle of alcohol. For example, I bought a fifth of vodka last night. Want to drink some with me? Hard liquor. Hard liquor refers to alcohol that is very strong, like vodka, whiskey, gin, etc. Wine and beer have less alcohol, so they are not considered hard liquor. For example, this restaurant has wine and beer, but no hard liquor. Soft drink. This is another word for a non-alcoholic drink, like soda. For example, sometimes soft drinks are free at the bar if you buy lots of alcohol. DUI and DWI. These stand for driving under the influence or driving while intoxicated. This means driving drunk. It is a crime. For example, 
Sandy got a DUI and is in trouble with the law now. Designated Driver When you go to a bar with some friends, one person might volunteer to be the designated driver. This means they will not drink any alcohol, so that they will be okay to drive everyone home safely. For example, it's my turn to be the designated driver, so I'll just have a soda. Last Call Last call refers to the time when the bar is about to close, and the last drink should be ordered. For example, 1.45 a.m. is time for last call. Buzzed Buzzed means mildly drunk, feeling good but not losing control like you might when you're drunk. For example, after one or two glasses of wine, I get buzzed. Plastered or wasted. These are slang ways to say someone is very drunk. For example, he has the habit of getting plastered every weekend. Virgin. This refers to a drink that has similar ingredients to an alcoholic mixed drink, but it's made without the alcohol. For example, is it possible to order a virgin margarita at this restaurant? This way, you can get the basic taste of the mixed drink, but without the alcohol. You can use and understand these expressions when you're at the bar or watching movies or TV shows where the characters are drinking. As I mentioned before, this is a guest lesson by Ryan. Ryan taught ESL in South Korea for several years, and now he's taking his teaching online to help professionals learn English all over the world. You can visit his website, EnglishForMyDream.com, to download a free ebook, 101 English Idioms for Professionals.